What's up guys, it's your boy Jay and welcome to the final DLC pack of WWE 2K22. Who does it involve, you ask? Well, you can check the timestamps below to see uh, the wrestler that you want. But in a quick recap, we have Commander of Seas, we have LA Knight, we have Logan Paul, we have Machine Gun Kelly, we have the main man RVD, we have Sarai, and we have Shia Lee. Now, it won't be in that order, but I think it's a good place to start. Speaking of a good place to start, uh, Mr. Rob Van Dam will be first, since he is the main person of this DLC pack, and he's just fighting in Noah recently, which has been fantastic. But, if we turn the entrances on and the title match on, we're going to go to a special night at ECW One Night Stand 2006, for the WWE Championship between RVD and John Cena. All right, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have Rob Van Dam, who originally started out in ECW. He then went to the WWE and has gained multiple, multiple championships. But tonight, hold on, Rob Van Dam will be trying to catch the WWE Championship so let's get to it right so let's do his first signature and finisher combo both of which are actually at the corner and what this has been set up I must remind you please if you have online capabilities download a better RVD attire than this as it goes for the leg split it new salt all right let's pick him up because apparently his other finisher is the coast to coast so let's try that out all right, get him down. Oh, all right, kick him a couple times, that's fine. All right, move him a tad. All right, here we go. Here comes the coast to coast. Here we go. Hell yeah, baby. Oh, that's such a good move. I love this RVD already. I love this RVD already. I, th this can only get better. Right, here comes the other six. Oh, it's a new move. Love it. Love it. All right, here we go. Frog Splash. Hit him with it. But let's do it again. Let's go again. Let's go again. And go. Five star Frog Splash. With a one, with a two, and with a three. Rob Van Dam has claimed the WWE Championship here at ECW. One Night Stand 2006. And, and you know what? This Rob Van Dam is a very, very good Rob Van Dam. Change the attire and it's 10 out of 10. Overall, good DLC so far. Let's get to the next person. Okay, next up, we have Logan Paul, who is someone back in 2019, I would never would have imagined to be in a wrestling game, to face the Miz. Uh, SummerSlam since it's actually happening like this month, which is cool Right and here he is Ah, he's getting booed in the game just like he gets booed in real life. Nice. Here comes Logan Paul with the Is that a my faction card on his chest? Oh, is that supposed to be like a replica of the um, Card he has the Pokemon card that costs like way too much money yeah, overall, I don't really know how you can make a good moveset out of someone that only wrestled once. Um, so, let's hope it's decent. Oh, and he throws the glasses. That's cool too, I guess. Right, so here we go. First signature. Hong Kong doll. Slam? Oh, wait. Oh, what is that called? A Pong Pong doll slam? Yeah, I was right. I was right. And the finish was a half Nelson Bulldog. Um, I don't remember doing this at as many match, but simple as really. Right, let's stand him up for the other signature, which is the three amigos that he did at WrestleMania this year. So it's actually like, it's nice to know they actually did this like post development, most likely. There you go. Right, so, wait, is this finish of the frog splash then? I uh, guess this. Alright, box flash number one. 
get back up there. Frog splash number two. And frog splash number three. One, two, three. Uh, what was most likely to happen? Logan Paul beats The Miz at SummerSlam. And he probably will win against him at SummerSlam this year as well. But overall, not a bad DLC. Let's move on to the person now that I wish I was actually beaten up. Right, next up, we have the person who did the soundtrack, Machine Gun Kelly, who has only been on WWE TV, I think, once, facing Kevin Owens. Right, and here comes Machine Gun Kelly. Now, I have already seen this entrance on um, Twitter, but I have to say, this entrance is actually the best entrance in the game. Like, 220% the best entrance in the game. And actually seeing it like, you know, PS5, 4K quality, it actually looks like a really good model too. So, they did a fantastic job with his model. But the one thing I want to know, what is this moveset like? Right, let's just check his drum roll. Nap time. Telecom. What the hell does any of this mean? Okay, you have me extremely, extremely interested. All right, what is nap time? Come on, okay, show me nap time first. Come on, what's nap time? Come on, what is it? Vertebraker? Vertebraker? What the hell? That is such a sick move. That was such a sick move. Oh my god. All right, let's just do the pop-up power bomb. All right, all right, I need to see the other two. I need to see the other two. Right, I need to see the other two. I so, uh, what's this one? All right, picks him up. Roll through. Okay, that's, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, what about the finisher? Okay, what is the finisher? All right, kicks him. Picks him up. Spins him round. Power bomb. All right, the chance in for one more time. So we'll give them what they want. Pick him up. Spin him around and power bomb. With the one, with the two, and with the three. Machine Gun Kelly beats Kevin Owens. And you know what? I was worried that this DLC was gonna be awful but after seeing those new moves i'm going to incorporate them into my character so you know what it's a good dlc it's a very very good dlc so next up we have ln8 taking on cameron grimes now back in this nxt era um ted DiBiase actually came down during the pandemic with the million dollar championship and these two feuded over it so it's going to be ln8 versus cameron grimes for the million dollar championship Right, so here he is. Here is LA Knight, also now known as Max Dupree. But since he's not Max Dupree in the game, we're using uh, his match from back in the pandemic with Cameron Grimes. And you know what? It's not a bad battle at all, and I can't wait for people to turn him into Max Dupree. So, let's get to it. Right, so here we go. The first signature we're going to be showing off is a torture rack backbreaker. Send him up. Send him down. And the other one just to make sure. Yep. Right, so which one's this one? Because I didn't read it, I just wanted to know if it was how to do it. Looks like an air raid siren? What's that an air raid siren? Air raid crash net breaker. Oh, okay. What's the difference? I, I don't I don't I don't remember. Right, here comes the other signature. We just need to turn around. Here we go, and with a back, side slam, pick him up for the... Oh my god, that was deadly. One, two, three. LA Knight beats Cameron Grimes for the Million Dollar Championship. Tonight on NXT. 
and you know what it's not a bad model and you know what i wish wwe kept the la knight thing because i honestly would use this a lot more if it was max dupree or just la knight so yeah let's go on to the other three that we have to do all right so next up we have Zia Lee facing sonya deville uh, um apparently the entrance has stopped what the hell is are those leaves what the hell is going on um i like the attire though it's a very good attire all right she takes off the hat just puts it to the side whoa 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 cgi that's like like that's like whoa 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 damn there was actual effort put into this i like it right so due to uh time constraints we are going to do one signature and one finisher now per wrestler so here comes the first signature stick her straight in the back of the head and the other and the finisher just stick her again very very easy stuff with the one with the two and with the three zia lee defeats sonya deville the reason why i chose sonya deville was because when she first came in to SmackDown, she was defending Naomi. But anyway, very good wrestler, very good DLC, very entertaining entrance. Two more left to go. Right, so next up we have Commander Aziz taking on Braun Strowman. Because when Commander Aziz first came into the WWE, he was on Raw Underground. I forgot his original name. But he did end up fighting Braun Strowman, so let's just get to it. Right, so here is Commander Aziz on Raw in the Thunderdome. And look at that. You know what? Honestly, not that bad. Not that bad. Again, I don't know what they're going to do with him now Apollo Crews is in NXT, but hopefully they can make something worth of him. Right, remember when I said I was only going to do one signature and one finisher per wrestler? This guy's only got one signature and one finisher, so that makes my life a whole lot easier. With the swinging side slam, pick him up for the Samoa Spike. With the one, with the two, and with the three. Commander Aziz beats Braun Strowman. Again, very classical big man move set uh only one move per signature and finisher though that's weird but it's understandable so let's get to the final person of this dlc pack and it's time to finish this dlc reviews with the final wrestler sarai what the hell oh there she is hello um your facial expressions don't look right and you look very bored to be here. Well, not a great start. Right, so let's go for the final time in this series. Let's get this over and done with. Here comes the fisherman super. Oh my god. Okay, and her finisher? What what is it? Oh my god, put on a red. With the one with the two and with the three try wins and that's really all the dlc it's been fun covering all this uh, the dlc by the way and as for this dlc i think it's one of the best ones thank you all so much for watching please remember to like comment subscribe and peace like you always once twice like you